Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Welcome to Easter Crime Time! On the agenda today, Confessions Collab. Especially, Tell a Lie! The biggest lie you've ever told. Confess it! My phone was off. I have a bad fever. <laughs> I can't make it. My car broke down. Yo, what up? It's your pig eternal. And this is the biggest, most extensive lie I've ever told. So I'm in grammar school. Fifth, sixth grade, right? I play a prank on a student. I have an accomplice. <sighs> I can't say what the prank was because it was pretty. But um, this is the this is the lie. I play the prank so bad that the class we had to stay so late look we got out at 2 45 right say we had to stay to like 4 4 30 almost all the students were going crazy what the hell it's not me there were you know people groups of people like oh these are the suspects we think they did it but the whole time i'm just there like guilty all right right I, you know i lied to five teachers over 50 students because it's like we had a whole block Right? Like, probably like five classrooms, you know, English, history, math, you know. So, the meeting was in like, in a classroom, right? Let's say the history class. And then, two rooms and, uh, next to it, I'm there with my friends, like, yo, it was me, man. <laughs> They're like, for real? Damn. I'm like, whatever. Next thing you know, the teacher comes, one of the teachers come, yo, blah, 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 we know you did it. My accomplice spoke. The accomplice cracked like an egg and that's the biggest lie i've ever told man like over you know it started off as a prank i'm thinking you know it's a playful prank but i just took it too far with the prank and then i lied to basically 60 people stood there for hours yo but that went down in the books that's that's a classic moment my parents had to come in talk to the principal it was nothing serious like nothing happened nothing bad happened to me they're just saying yo you can't play like that but yes that's my biggest lie i'm eternal pig and thanks for watching i am a human and i confess that i lie and one of my biggest lies was i visited to one of my friends since i have not seen his university so i decided to go with him to his university and suddenly, oh, what the fuck? He asked me that, do you masturbate? I was like, ooh, um, wait, what? Hey, come on, dude. I don't masturbate. It's don't lie with me. Just confess that you masturbate. Sorry, dude, but I don't masturbate. And this discussion is done. So this was the biggest lie that I've ever said to someone. Hi, I'm Rue from Channel Rue Harbor, and uh, my biggest lie. <sighs> so, I think I'm 10 or 11, and um, I had a friend over. She was sleeping over at my house, and she was like crushing on this boy. And she was like, Oh, I want to text him and ask him if he wants to be my boyfriend, and you know, send him something along the lines of, do you want to be with me? Like, do you want to go steady? Or, yeah, <laughs> that's how you do it when you're ten or like ten or eleven. That's that's how you do it. You know, if you can get away with not actually having to look in their eye and ask them something, yeah, then that is how you ask them that question. So, 
we were like, ooh, texting, the great invention that allows us to do that. And she was super excited, and I remember thinking, oh, I want to be that excited too. I want to be, like, I want to have that kind of juicy secret too. So I was thinking in my head, hmm, who should I ask? And then I was like, thinking of all the boys I knew. And then I thought, well, that guy is so nice. Like, the, I just picked the nicest boy I knew, the kindest and the most, you know, the nicest kid that I knew. And I thought, I'll ask him. He seems like a great candidate for this. <laughs> um, and so I sent him a text message. And he said, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that was awkward. Anyways, you know, I should have seen it coming because we used to be neighbors. That kid and I, we used to be neighbors and then I moved. And, you know, we went to the same school all the while. Anyways, but like I moved to a different area and um, he had like profusely denied ever having been my neighbor. Uh, kind of Girl Scout cuties kind of thing, so that might have given me a clue as to what he might answer to that question. <laughs> like, he didn't even want to admit that he was in my neighbor once. Um, anyways, at school, you know, I was terrified that he told somebody, because when you're like 10 or 11, that is like social suicide. If anybody knows anything incriminating about you, or anything slightly awkward about you, it's like, yeah. It just feels like the worst thing that's ever happened. And looking back, it's just frivolous. Anyways, so I was like... And also, I feel like even though I didn't have a crush on him before, now that he said no, I wanted him. Because it's like, you want something, and if you can't have it, you want it more. Like, you know, it's like, why? Why can't I have you? Like, like I'm I, like... Just, you know, when you can't have something, it's like you want it more. So, anyways, I was like, just checking if he told anybody, and he hadn't. True gentleman, you know, very, very good kid. You know, true gentleman hadn't told anybody because, you know, he was thoughtful that way. Until I decided to steal his hat and dangle it over a pool of water saying I'm gonna drop it in the water because remember I'm 11 or 10 at this time and he was like don't you dare if you drop it in the water I'm so gonna tell everybody what you asked me and I'm like oh! and this you fear made me accidentally drop it because I was never intention I was never going to drop it in the water but it was like oh! and I'm like oh my god it's in the pool of water. I'm so screwed. Oh my god. And he like, you asked me if I wanted to be your boyfriend. And I'm like, no I didn't. Yes you did. I have the text that proves it. And I'm like, no I didn't. And this is where the lie comes in. So I made up this elaborate, just unbelievable, uncomprehensible, just, I can't think that anybody believed me. But I was like, no, it was my a strange to have sister that came to visit and she stole my phone and sent it to you and like did it to mess with me like yeah seriously and I was so adamant about it I was like profusely just no no I didn't do it I didn't do it I didn't do it it wasn't me it wasn't me it was my strange half sister that came and like messed with my phone and, and she did it. it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. And, you know, the gentleman that he was, you know, he, in the first place, he was a gentleman not telling anybody until I fucked up. And then he was, like, super nice and, like, pretended like he believed me. Such a nice kid. Oh, my God. I was so awkward around boys until late into my teens. I was so awkward around boys. But it's like... 10, 11 to like late into my teens, so awkward around boys, like treated them like they were like a separate species that I could not understand. 
they were like, ooh, like, like they were speaking a different language and I didn't understand it and I just acted very awkward and silly around them. That is the biggest, most elaborate and failure in the lie department that I've ever made. I got invited to my buddy's birthday party two years ago. I hadn't seen the kids since high school. We were actually pretty good friends in high school, but I hadn't talked to him since we graduated. He hit me up on Facebook, and you actually had the RSVP for his birthday party. He only invited like 20 people. He makes good money. He makes pretty good money. It was an all-paid trip, a flight to Florida, and he was booking the hotel. I was like, hell yeah, I'm going. Felt kind of bad because I hadn't seen the kid in a while. I ended up realizing the last minute that it overlapped my basketball league. I knew I couldn't just tell him about the basketball league. I actually told him, now this is terrible, I told him that I rolled my car. My mom was sitting in the passenger seat and she had to undergo surgery. I fortunately didn't get that hurt. I'm still friends with this kid on Facebook. So I found a picture online of a car that looked like mine that had gotten into an accident, you know what I'm saying? And then I had to go along with all my friends and lie to all of them and said that my car was in the shop the entire time. Oh, I left out the beginning of the story. I made a YouTube channel. I found a site called YT Talk. I found a collab posting under the forums telling like your worst, deepest, darkest lie that you've ever told. And I really couldn't think of like a really good one. So I just made this whole thing up. And that's the most messed up lie I've ever told. Also, guess the sound. And guess what? We have a winner! Yay! Eternal Pig, right on. Guess the sound. 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 You want to win these awesome sunglasses? Well, <laughs> fret not, because I've got a new sound for you. The new sound! If you're not a subscriber of mine yet, look at that moustache. Isn't it wonderful? If you click it, you'll become my subscriber, aka my moustache. Because that's what I call my subscribers. If you want to have a sneak peek at my previous shows, click that arrow. For tomorrow's episode, when it's aired, it's clickable in that awesome Easter egg.